Hi, this will be a short video on loading data with URL session Swift 3 in Xcode 8. I'll start by making a new project. It'll be a single view application. And we'll load JSON, so I'll tack JSON onto the end of the name. Save my project. And what I think I'll do is I'll make a brand new Swift file to handle um, all the, you know, loading and stuff. So it'll just load the JSON in this file, and then we can, you know, get the data out of here. Um, let's call it Movie Manager. And we'll name it Movie Manager like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to load JSON from iTunes. And this URL will give us the top movies, the top 25 movies in the JSON format. So we'll copy the URL. And why don't we make a function in the movie manager called load movies? And then we'll say, uh, how about iTunes? So will be our iTunes address. We'll paste it there. And there we go, right? So now we've got a URL that we can call on. Well, actually, we have a, a string, right? So we need to make a URL. So let's say let URL equal a brand new URL. And what we want to do is we want to make a URL from a string. See, there's a lot of constructors here for URL. We want this one. URL from string, and the string we'll use is this iTunes string, okay? This returns an optional, so we can kind of option click on, on the, the variable there, and it'll show us that this is an optional. It's got the question mark. Um, you can use guard or if let. I'm just going to unwrap it with the exclamation point, um, and, you know, we'll, we'll add some error checking and stuff later, but for right now, let's just kind of live dangerously. Um, next, we'll need to make a session. So you can make a session like this. We'll say URL session, right? And we want to use the shared session, and then we'll say dot data task. And there's a bunch of these, um, these methods here. We want the one that's data task with URL and completion handler. So there's two parameters here. We need to include a URL. And we've got a URL here, so we'll put that URL right here. And then the completion handler is a closure that will handle the data when it's loaded. So in other words, when URL session is done, it's going to pass the data, a URL response, and an error message to the closure that we include. Okay? So the closure is a function. Um, Swift will write, the, or Xcode, you know, will we'll write the Swift needed for that function for us. Um, if you select it and then hit the return key. So it'll kind of fill that in. You can write it yourself, but it's kind of nice when Xcode does it, right? But we need to change these names here to variable names that we want to use. So, um, you know, that's going to be data. It's an optional. Let's just put data there. And then URL response. Why don't we just call that response? And then error, we can just name it error, right? And then now, after the in, you know, after the word, the keyword in, our, our code, this, these are the parameters going into our function. And then after in, we're going to use those parameters in the code block here. Okay? So we can put our own code here. Okay, so if this works, you know, our data that we loaded should be in this variable data, right? And what we'll do just for right now, just to get, keep this simple, is we'll print data to the console. So if we see something in the console, we know that it, it got loaded here. And you could, you know, print some other stuff there just to let you know that this is working, right? Um, so if we test this now and nothing's going to happen, we have to do two more things. We have to create an instance of Movie Manager and then call load movies on it, okay? And the other thing we need to do is um, the session won't do anything unless we, we tell the session to start. And essentially what we're going to do is right after 
the code block here for this for the the the, the callback on the session or the, the the closure of the session right here still within the the um, the load movies method you can see this is the curly brace here that matches this one we're still inside load movies right here we want to say um, session dot resume now I know that sounds a little weird you know resume sounds like you're continuing something that's already started in reality the session has never been started we're just gonna start it up right now so I feel like this might make more sense if it was session dot start you know um, or session begin right so that's what we're gonna do we gotta make a session this is gonna generate a session and then we're gonna start that session up here after we've done it and then the sessions gonna take you know however long it takes the computer to go out on the internet and grab the data and download the data and when the data is done downloading um, the URL session is gonna execute the code inside this this closure okay so essentially it's gonna do everything in the code block here and the data that it loaded it's gonna pass in to this data variable okay and then there's a URL response that tells us you know what happened you know if it's like error code 200 I think that means everything's good if it's error code 404 we we you haven't found the data or, you know it's, um, right so it's like and then if there's some other error we get another error message here okay so let's give that a try oh yeah we gotta uh, we gotta create an instance of our movie manager okay so let's switch to um, to uh, view controller here and we'll just do this inside view did load okay so uh, I'll just make a little space here we'll say let movie manager equal uppercase uh, movie manager like this so we made a new instance of movie manager and then we can say movie manager dot load movies and then we'll give it a try let me switch this to the iPhone 6 and then run oh there we go right so that looks like it's working pretty good um, it doesn't look like much to you but here's our message right let's go actually look at our movie manager here um, there it is right and remember movie manager when we load the data it prints this message out and then it prints the data so essentially here um, you know this was our first line and then the data just it's an optional you know and that that's what this was remember and then it says it loaded you know 58,921 bytes you know but that's just the raw data so I think it's working right so we'll in the next video we'll convert this to JSON and um, actually see what the data is okay but if you get this far and you get this message then it should be working okay so thanks for watching let me actually point something out you know um, this should load um, all the time because it's an HTTPS call but I noticed on some computers when I did this earlier today it it should work but it didn't work um, uh, for some reason usually these work if they're HTTP they don't work you need to set a setting over here in the info P list um, called allow ar arbitrary downloads and um, I had to do that earlier even though that URL was an HTTPS so you might have that problem and if that happens um, go in here and um, add allow what is it it's like um, it's like application security something or other um, shoot now I can't remember what they call that thing um, yeah application transports it yeah here's app transport security settings and then what we want to do is um, open that up you know, it's hard to read on your screen but that should say app transport security settings and then you want to click down here and choose allow arbitrary downloads okay and then that would be um, that would help right and I think there's another setting there that you can choose that's allow web something or other right so um, so if it doesn't work try that and maybe that'll help you out okay so anyway thanks for watching and we'll continue in the next video